Look at me, I'm Sandra D. Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerushka Do TV. I have never dressed up or tried to impersonate my godmother, but I swear I feel like her for sure. I think I need to send this video to live. As you can see, I have chopped my hair off and dyed it platinum blonde. Psych, just kidding. This is a wig. As I said in my last video, my P what's in my PO box, I had received a wig from Everyday Wigs. They had contacted me and said they wanted to send me one of their wigs. I told you, I was like, are you crazy? Have you seen the length of my hair? But they said, just for fun, we want to see if you like it. So if you're planning on giving me a thumbs down because I have a platinum blonde ombre bob wig on, please don't. It's just for a bit of fun. Halloween is coming up. Uh, you're going into Halloween season. So uh, I wanted to surprise you with this cool wig. I will leave Everyday Wigs link below. Their site is so fun. It's so cool. There's all different types of wigs to choose from. And as I said, coming to Halloween, it's really cool. So this is one of their uh, synthetic lace front wigs. Yeah, so it came with the lace front. I gave it a good go at putting it on. I actually watched a few tutorials to put it on as best as possible. I feel very Kylie Jenner-esque in it. A little bit, should we say, Kim Kardashian when she had her platinum blonde hair before she became super boring and no one cares about her anymore. It's all about Kylie. Anyway, I'm going to get into my favourites for September 2015. I will say, however, it has been difficult getting all these favorites together because I am here and there. As I said in my last video, I am renovating. Everything is sort of here and there. I'm part at my in-laws house and I come and go. One of the favorites I was going to show you is my new monogram ellipse belt from Louis Vuitton. Although when I ran out of my room thinking I picked it up, ba -bow, I didn't. I picked up my black epi silver LV initials belt, buckle belt. I love this, but it is not my favorite for this month. Uh, my ellipse belt in monogram is, I will link, I will leave a link below for it anyway on louisvuitton.com so you can see, but that is one of my favorites. I will start off with beauty. I do have some because we are trying out a bit of beauty at the moment and it's working. It's working. I'm liking it. The two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that I showed in my last What's in my PO box, the one before the last one, have been amazing. The Shadow Couture palette from her is just really great. As I said in one of my last videos, I never really knew shadows till I got this palette, how pigmented they are and how it's far easier to put shadows on and blend with good shadows. And then the contour kit, loving it. This is the original, I think, light to medium contour kit. I have a lot of bronzer on today. We worked a lot of bronzer in with this uh, wig, uh, just because I thought maybe being blonde, you should probably be tanner, and Jerusha isn't tan at all. So we have a lot of the bronzers on down here. I like them, they're quite pigmented. And then the contour color I use a lot. Between the highlight colors, I do highlight my nose with this one and I use the banana uh, color, banana color powder underneath my eyes sometimes. But I really, really like this. I do want to maybe get my hands on Max Give Me Sun bronzer. You can let me know in the comments below if you have MAC bronzer and if you like it. I've just heard a lot about it. These three items we're going to do together. First being this foundation. Yes, it is all over YouTube. I'm happy I got my hands on it sort of before all the first impressions came out so I could sort of make up my own mind about it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless and I got it in the color 120 Classic Ivory. I really, really like it because it goes on matte. At first I was putting a powder over it and I was wondering why I looked so cake face 
And then I was like, oh, the foundation is matte. I don't need to make it matter. So really, really good. Love that stuff. I also got it in the Dewy, but this one has been a fave. This Hydra Beauty Serum. This isn't the Micro Serum. The Micro Serum is a little bit clearer. This is more like the gel color, but it is so beautiful. My beautiful friend Kat, hi Kat, posted this over to me as a gift because she wasn't really using it or getting the use out of it. I love it. I love putting this on before I go to bed. A few people have asked me to review it and tell, the, tell everybody what I use it for. I put this on before I go to bed. And what I like about a nighttime moisturizer or a serum is I don't like wake up in the morning, wash my face and having that gooey feeling like, do you remember in like kindergarten or preschool when you would like use glue, um, like the white plastic glue and then it would dry and then you were able to peel it off. I, I just hate that sort of peel off feeling in the morning uh, with any sort of serum or moisturizer but this doesn't do that for me. It may be different with, with you but and again it's Hydra Beauty. It just it smells like heaven. And I have to mention MAC Fix Plus. I'm not sure if I have mentioned this before. I don't go back and check my favorites. I'm true to my favorites. I just show you what I honestly have been loving for the month. This MAC Fix Plus is been awesome because I am using a lot more powders, uh, highlighter. We can see Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, ding, on the cheek. This just sets it all and just makes it look really dewy and lovely. And a lot of people are like, oh, your skin is flawless. No, it's not flawless. But when you spray this on, it just gives it that really nice set finished kind of look. And lastly for beauty items are these two liquid lipsticks. It would be three. But if you follow a so-called woman called my mother on Instagram, you may have seen that she in fact pinched my other color, Beepa, after I got it, but I was really happy that she loved it. So, of course, I let her pinch it. But these are the two colors that have been rocking so much for the month of September. Trap from the ColourPop Matte Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick line and the color Midi. The Midi is far pinker. Well, it is for me. Trap I have on my lips today, and I think it's that mauve kind of... Uh, Kylie Jenner sort of lip and Beep is even more like that and yeah they're really really nice and they're a sort of a cheaper dupe for uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills so check those out I will link them below loving them actually that wasn't last I tricked y'all last is this little gem I am <clears throat> so happy I got my hands on this. I told you why in my what's in my PO box video when I unboxed it. This is of course the Becca Cosmetics uh, highlighter skin perfecter collaboration with Jaclyn Hill champagne pop and I ordered this on Amazon I think or eBay just purely because I was so proud of her. I really really was. I watched her vlog uh, of going to Sephora in New York and doing the release of this and I just was so so proud as a fellow youtuber and I just wanted to get my hands on it so there it is there I know I've mentioned most of these <laughs> items before but again true to my favorites these are fantastic I cannot tell you how many questions I get on these sunglasses these are my Celine Paris sunglasses these are the large shadow sunglasses from black to tortoiseshell. Bam! I have done so many favorites with these sunnies. I have shown them a million trillion times. But even when I show them on Instagram and I take photos and they go through to Facebook, I'm inundated with what are they, what model are they, where are they from. They are the Celine large shadow sunglasses in black to tortoiseshell they're probably very dirty right now i wear them nice and low on the nose so that you can see my eyebrows that is the way i wear sunnies i don't wear them up here it's just a lot more flattering to see your eyebrows so that is how we wear them they're amazing i got them in hong kong and i'm very very happy i did but 
if you want to get them here sunglass hut australia does sell celine so i will link them below another pair of sunglasses that i do have to mention again probably already mentioned but i don't care key australia key as in key as in lock and key not quay a lot of people say quay i would be so irritated if it was my company <laughs> but it's key key australia and these are my black vivian aviators they are completely sold out in the company whether they are in the states um, office in the company i'm not quite sure double check you can always contact them but australia wide they're sold out i can tell you my brother-in-law saw these and was like oh, i want a pair are they unisex and i was like uh, i don't really know if they're unisex but rock them anyway girl and so i went on to white fox boutique i have worked with them before and they have the gold the gold with the gold rims in stock in the vivians i know that their blue lens vivians are sold out but they do have the gold because i just got a pair for him and he was just he was like i'm so flawed i'm like yes honey we hook you up so they are my vivians i get asked a lot about these i get asked a lot about them in person people say oh are they are uh, ray-bans and i'm like really proud to be like no they're key australia not that I don't have Ray-Bans, I have two pairs, but I just feel like they're so played out. Do you know what I mean? Do you agree? They're just kind of everywhere. The flash ones are everywhere. So I'm really happy to be like, no, they're different. They're key. Like what Gigi Hadid wears. Here is where I would be inserting my lips belt. But we don't have it, so that is no bueno. Instead, we will move on to this item. I know I have shown this a million times, but it is coming into fall winter in the northern hemisphere and i feel like i have to say this again for you guys because i do get asked a lot about louis vuitton shawls if they are worth it is it worth the investment i have done a video on this i have said what i truly feel and that is that yes in all honesty they do pull they do snag they're not incredibly well well wearing but still uh, they are just so useful as a shawl as a scarf as a blanket if you're traveling you're on trains you're going to uni you've got to sit in cold you know lecture rooms they are so warm with the makeup of silk and cashmere I just love them. This is my monogram shawl in the color Amarant. And this, Sept this September favorites is basically because that's the end of winter in Australia and we're going into spring summer now. So I really wanted to show you this. Got so much, uh, so much playtime through winter, more than my denim monogram because I just feel felt like well to be honest the color is just so chic it is so chic and classy every time i wore it a lot of people like wow my family my in-laws were like oh beautiful beautiful because it's just such a classy color that beautiful dark burnt raisin bordeaux kind of color i do have to say i feel like you play with your hair less when it's a wig <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that? Like I just, it just sits there. I don't have to do it. I don't need to play with it. It's really, really good. Maybe all YouTubers that play with their hair in videos should wear wigs. Hey, and the last item I'm going to show you in my September favorites. You may or may not know this. If you follow me on Instagram is this beauty. I am <laughs> just needing a second to rave about this. It is in my favorites, not only because of the use, but because of the way I got it. I am so happy I told you guys this story about this Neverfull pochette. It just came full circle. So hi, Stacy. I was so, so happy. This is the Neverfull pochette in the MM size. It goes down inside the Neverfull bag in the Damier Ibin canvas. I, have, I keep it just like this with its little strap tied like a wristlet shape and it is down inside my bag and 
<clears throat> I've had a few questions on what I keep in it and how do I keep it from the zipper from bowing because it really is only thin it's not like a uh, pochette accessories right now I have my passports in there because I need to go and do some work in the post office with them so that's what's in there at the moment but I will show you what I do with this so we get the phone it's iPhone 6 that's down inside we get the car key that will be down inside a lip gloss or a lipstick just you know then I know that the interior bleeds I am only doing this for example purposes but this is my dummy as your clay I wouldn't use this but pretending I needed a mini wallet we can put that in there as well don't panic I'm not leaving it in there this is just an example and I would do it up a little bit of a bend but it's not a problem I don't particularly mind if it was completely crooked then yeah I would re sort of reorganize it shuffle it around but a few people ask me how do you pack it so it doesn't buckle that is how don't over pack it pack it with slim items organize them so that they don't create a bulge and that's it I leave this in my bag if you're a mummy, if you're a uni student, if you're a working woman and you have a bigger bag, like right now I have my Matisse Hobo it's sitting on the desk over there, and I'll just put this inside and when I need to run out and do errands, I'll just quickly grab this as an alternative and put, as I said, you know, maybe, maybe you don't have a wallet, so we'll just take the clay out. You can keep cash down there, a few coins, and that's it. And just run with that. It's so handy. So I'm stoked that I got my hands on it. Thank you so much, Stacey. I think that is it. That is everything for my September favourites. As I said, again, I am renovating and in between houses, so I couldn't get my hands on everything I actually have been using. But that is the bulk of it. That is the most of it, truthfully. That is what has been just on repeat, a favourite thing for me to grab this month. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my peruca, please give me a thumbs up and check out Everyday Wigs. These guys are so cool for your Halloween costume or just if you're trying to, uh, what do they call it, protect your hair and, you know, let it grow out and not be so damaged and you want to rock a few wigs instead, switch up your look. I know my husband would love this. He'll be like, oh, I have a new wife, number two. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be great too. I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Peace.